Hello and welcome to Taste and See, the show that makes cooking simple. Today's recipe shows you how to make dosa, which is a kind of crepe. Dosas are a typical part of the South Indian and Sri Lankan diets, but the dish is now popular all over the world. Traditionally, dosas are served hot along with a stuffing of potatoes, sambar, that's a lentil-based vegetable stew, and chutney, which is a coconut dip. We're just going to show you how to make a simple chutney to go along with the dosa. Let's get to it.
Okay, you know that part where I spread the batter on the pan? Well, that is a little harder than it looks. But keep these three things in mind and you'll get it right in a couple of tries. One, make sure the pan is not too hot, otherwise the batter sticks to it the moment it is poured and you can't spread it around. I rinse the pan between dosas, although I think traditional dosa makers would be horrified. Most people sprinkle water on the pan or wipe it with a wet cloth. I prefer my method. It's a lot simpler. Two, be bold. Pour a small portion of batter into the center of the pan and then move the ladle outward in a circular motion, pressing down firmly but not too hard. You'll get the hang of it with a couple of tries. Three, try to get a dosa pan used expressly for this purpose. These are totally flat as you saw in the video, so the sides of the pan don't get in the way when you're spreading the batter. If you can't get one of these, use a large non-stick pan that has a flat base. You would have noticed that the batter left overnight rises. This is because of a process known as fermentation. This takes place naturally here, but when baking bread, yeast is often added to aid in the process of fermentation. It takes just a little yeast to make a huge batch of dough, and Jesus used this analogy to tell us how his kingdom works. One day he told his apostles that the kingdom of God was like a mustard seed that somebody sowed in the garden. It grew and it became a tree. Then he said the kingdom of God was like yeast, which a woman mixed with flour until all of it was leavened, resulting in a huge lump of dough. Two comparisons, one lesson. The small would become big, the inconsequential would attain significance. It was hard for them to comprehend, but today we can see the truth of that. Twelve men changed the world. The world is in terrible shape, but we can change it by being the yeast in it. Think about that while making your dosas, and God bless you.